A new day brings a new deck list, Baku Crew. I'm Baku Brad96, and this time I'm back at it with the Pyre's Darkest Factions. But not only am I going for a Baku Gear strategy again, but I am using new cores and new Bakugan that haven't been featured so much on the channel, which I hope brings everyone a new refreshing outlook on things. You know, definitely want to keep things fresh and new. So that's why I'm back at it, but with different Bakugan. So, you know, let's go ahead and jump right into it. There's not much else to say. Um, I only have a limited card pool, but I am keeping things as different as possible. So here is some awesome new Bakugan. Um, obviously using Darkest Vylock from my uh, combiner set. This is actually the first deck I've actually built around Vylock. So hopefully it'll work out good. But starting off, of course, is Vylock himself. Has a Flaming Fist and a Green Fist core, B power of 800, and 2 damage. A really good B power, the damage is low, but having the access to the Flaming Fist, which can give you plus 6, is a huge help. So here is Darkest Vlock. Next up, I am using Pyrus Crystallion. Has a Magic Shield and a Green Fist core. B power of 800 and 3 damage, so much like Vlock, not a whole lot of damage, but you do have strong B power. And that's kind of a focal point of the deck. Just opening off camera, we have Pyrus Crystallion with the little manual horn here. Very nice, Crystallion is such a cool design, I like it a lot. And then finally on this team we do have Pyrus for Askel. Has a magic shield and a orange shield core. B power of 400, 4 damage. And if it lands on a magic shield you're going to get an extra plus 400 on top of that. Which is good, you know you do have some magic shields in the deck profile. Really helps, just gives you more power. There's of course our little kitten core. Yeah, kitten core. Before we get into the Geogon and the deck list, let's go ahead and take a look at the Baku cores I'm using. So because it is a Baku gear strategy, you want uh, the cores that lower the energy cost. So for the two magic shield slots, I am using the plus 500 B power and minus one energy to your Baku gear, which does come in handy. You know, it makes two cost uh, one, three cost two, so on and so forth. The two green fist slots I am using are the plus three damage and then Baku gear costs minus one energy. Um, again, same reason, but the plus three is also nice. And then finally, the uh, flaming fist is a plus five damage minus one energy to Baku gear. And the orange or regular shield is a plus 150 B power and minus two energy on Baku gear. So the entire core lineup really lowers your Baku gear cost for you. And uh, that's the whole point. But we are going to take a look at the Geogon I used in the deck first before we get into it. So, here we go. Starting things off with uh, at least everyone's favorite, iconic-wise anyway, we have Arcleon, 1 energy for a B power of 900 and 2 damage with double strike. Probably in actuality everyone's favorite is Hyenix, but as far as you know the Mascart Dragonoid, this is the Geogon for him. Still not bad though, I know everyone likes Hyenix's B power, but Arcleon's really good too, you know, just one energy cost. Super effective on Geogon. Speaking of Hyenix, I do run it, I mean why wouldn't I? It's only a one energy cost Geogon for a B power of 1300 and 4 damage, built in Shadow Strike as well. So, obviously it's an auto include. Here is Hyenix, I won't worry about folding out the arms, but his arms do extend quite a bit. And then kind of wacky, but I wanted to try it out because I did disassemble them and I am using them in deck profiles now. I am using Geoforge Mantrapod. So, 4 energy for a B power of 1600, 7 damage, and Victor, so if it wins a brawl, you get to scan and draw one. So it just helps with card draw and it is a decent Geogon overall. For those of you who don't know, here is the Geoforge Mantrapod, which looks quite a bit different than the regular one. But you do have to use the right 
game piece or a toy with the card. Otherwise, you can't really use the card. <clears throat> now, with the three Geogon I use out of the way, we will get into the deck list. Um, I will, am only using three Geogon in this particular build because it is a Baku Gear build, but I might change things up as things go on or build different ones. So, I do have two Thunderbolt, one energy for plus three damage. Two cycling warmth, two energy for plus two damage, and then return this to the bottom of your deck. I really like that, you know, just being able to always have a card in your deck and not losing to uh, life is pretty nice. Of course, if you consistently play that card, otherwise it won't work. Uh, two darkest dread, two energy for a plus 100 B power, plus one damage, and draw one. Two Darkest Destroyers, two energy for sh plus Shadow Strike on a Bakugan, and then plus 200 B power and plus one damage. So here's the first of the Bakugan. Next up, I am using my uh, pretty iconic combo because I have it on plenty of my deck list videos. It is the Darkest Knight and then the Monstrous Surge. So two energy for a Bakugan with an armor rating of one, 100 B power, and two damage. If another card causes you to reveal this from your hand, you give a Bakugan plus two more damage on top of the damage it already equips to, so very good. Goes along with the sync ability on the Monstrous Surge. So after that, two Searing Strike, two energy for plus 400 B power. Two Triple Blazing Barrage, two energy for plus 200 B power, plus two damage, and you get to scan. Then another favorite of mine, Burn Cutter, 3 energy for a Bakugir with an armor rating of 1, 100 B power, and plus 5 damage to the Bakugan. Very huge amount of damage, really like using that card. Then Trailing Dragon, 3 energy for plus 200 B power, plus 4 damage, and if you energize this from your hand, you can pay 2 energy to draw 1. Volatile Instincts, 3 energy for plus 6 damage, and it also has the, if you energize this from your hand, you can pay 2 to draw a card effect. Here's the previously mentioned Monstrous Surge, 4 energy for plus 800 B power, and then Sync, you can reveal a card in your hand that costs 2 energy for plus 4 damage. So it does stack up with the Darkest Night, you can all see the whole point. And that's why I throw this into any Bakugir strategy I can with Darkest. Next up is Pyrus Overload. 4 energy for plus 500 B power, and then remove all Baku cores attached to a Bakugan and place them onto the field. A very powerful card in my opinion. I really like that one too. Um, even though we are not using any rapid fire cards, I do have Lava Blade because it is a good Bakugir card in my opinion. 5 energy for an armor rating of 2, and then it gives 200 B power and 4 damage to your Bakugan. So it does eat up a good bit of damage if it gets flipped from the top. You get decent uh, damage added to your Bakugan, so I really like it. It would be better for free with Rapid Fire, but again, I don't want to make every Pyre Starkest deck I have Rapid Fire. I do want to make it, or have them be a little different. And then other than the flips, I do have two Magmagon. So, 6 energy for plus 1200 B power. Just kind of a closeout game card there. So to wrap things up, I have Darkest Snare. I run two of these. Zero energy to block a buckle on holding a magic shield. And then two Constrictor. One energy to block a Bakugan holding a green fist or helix core. One Pyrus Stopper Slam, one energy to block a Pyrus or Fusion Bakugan. One Sonic Shield, one energy to block a Bakugan holding a Green or Flaming Fist. Weapons of Darkest, one energy to block a Darkest or Fusion Bakugan. And then finally, to wrap up this deck profile for today, it is Burning Cloud. So, four energy to block a non-Fusion Bakugan. If you do, make a Pyrus Bakugan attack for two. So a cute little effect there on top of blocking an attack. Very good. So everyone, that will do it for today's deck profile. 
Hope you all enjoyed watching. As always, if you aren't a member already, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do have daily Bakugan content put out. Um, also, like this video for more deck lists. If you have an idea of a deck list you would like to see from Bakugan I have shown or unboxed previously on the channel, comment down below because your idea might just be featured next. And one more thing before I close out. I do want to let you all know that 90% of you watching my channel are not subscribed. So I have the viewership you're all watching, which is phenomenal. Thank you. A huge shout out to the Bakugan community. But why don't you go ahead and subscribe? Just, just click that button. That's all you got to do. And I will be bringing you awesome Bakugan content constantly. Promise. Thank you all. And remember, Bakugan Brawl.